Pass key, pass key two, GM VATS vehicle anti theft system. These keys were made, I don't know, probably like early 90s to 2002. I believe the Firebird and the Camaro, the fourth gen one, like a mullet car. They had the, uh, <laughs> mullet car. They had the last two key set up. You know, you got the square key for the ignition. You get the round key for the door. They also had these keys in a uh, single key format, so they were cut on both sides. Like the Chevy trucks kind of used them, I think up to like uh, 99 or 2000 or so. Then they went to this style key, you know, I mean, everyone knows that. That actually has a chip in it, this one. And the mobilizer is around the um, ignition cylinder. We're not talking about that. Pass key, let's say you need a key, or you want to delete that thing and you need another resistance. Because you're going to have to make a whole resistance pack to match what this little chip is in the key. It's just a resistor, it's all it is. What you do, first of all you need a voltmeter. Fluke meter is pretty cool if you're looking to buy one. I'm not advertising for them, but great unit. Ohms, which is right there. Keep your key. This, now this is the tricky part. Hold on, I might need to get a tripod for this. Probably going to need to. You have to put one lead over there. Put the key on top of it and then get both sides of the lead and check the resistance of the key. So you have to go like this, bam, bam, let's see if we got it. Oh, we got it, Point. oh it's going up, what, 1.3? Hold on, let me get a better connection on this, we'll get back to you. Kind of see that in the screen, we got a bad glare, it's, it's what it is here. 1.130 ohms 1.130 ohms is the number for this key See, it's going down a little bit this key has like a, a lot of miles on it so it's kind of worn out it's around that 1.129 and then there's a chart these keys go to values of 1 through 15 and the resistance changes on each one so you have to go to that chart I'll show you that in a second and you can compare the number of key you have if you are buying a key and you need that number when you go to like a dealer because uh, what's the company? Stratec? ST, uh, Stratec? I forget the name of the company they make these keys they just put the GM logo on it or you can buy them without but you still need the value number if you were to get this key cut or else you won't start your car or if you want to delete the whole system which I'm not going to show you in this video because mine still works you must match the resistor value which is 1.13 ohms plus or minus the error every resistor is different you have to um, match that up and put that in line where this thing is because basically what usually goes bad is not really the resistor the key cylinder goes bad and you have to replace the cylinder if you want the system to work again and no one really does that they just delete it and they call it good because you can trick the system thinking the keys in there all the time with the resistor and you will be good. You could probably also if you got a spare key real ghetto you can just kind of attach two wires to that somehow or punch that out if you had an old junk key and just put that in line instead of buying a uh, bunch of resistors and making a pack with. Let me show you that chart and that thing just ruined my video as always you know it just makes noise all the time. Then you could just Google this and find all these charts on the internet. I Googled passkey value GM, or you can buy passkey 2, key values, resistance values, and you'll come up with charts like this. I'll link this one in the video. I'll screenshot it, plus a couple other ones. Sometimes the values, they're a little bit different comparing in the chart, but we got a number 5 key, which is funny. I actually have two number 5 keys for you both vehicles which is interesting so now you can go steal it now if you want uh, so that's that see that's the minimum that's the max it's resistor some of these charts too they say the number five is a 1.124 like can I get it no I can't get it I can't find it but that's the deal you match it up you get the key blank number if you're buying a key cut it you're good you just gotta check your resistance first. Or if you want to delete the system, get your resistance. See minimum resistance, maximum resistance. Oh there it is, the minimum. Okay. Right here, the minimum and maximum for number five. So you get that. 
you add this much resistance or max that into the circuit if you want to delete it and you'll turn that pesky light off so hope this video helps someone if you need a key for your car or if you want to know what number key you have on your old GM if you like this video please like it share it subscribe